You know, Lubbock is filled with gracious people, but they're just kind of a model of of that generosity and not just investing in a giving money to this or that. They invest in people. Great people. George is, is one of my favorites. What you see is what you get with George. He's helped lots of people, lots of racers. They unselfishly have shared their uh, their blessings, and that's, that's wonderful. John uh, introduced me to George and said, I want you to let, let me know what you think about George McMahon. He said, oh, okay. So we met him and he told us his story, how he started and everything, and he and Linda. And about two and a half hours later, we left and I said, John, the most honest, hardworking couple that I have ever met. My mother, she would do anything for someone she loves and she will do without too. You, you talk to both of them and you, you kind of think, wow, they're so different. Then they're they're a whole lot alike. The human itself is a funny, delightful person to be around. Him and his wife both. Uh, Linda's quite the character, uh, just full of energy. Years ago, when he one of his first dirt bike races, uh, he it was a downhill turn right at a river crossing. Well, in his angst to try and get around somebody, he forgot the water was there and uh, ended up in the drink, so to speak. So. Uh, he got nicknamed Flipper for a few years. Here's here's to you, Flipper. They're an amazing couple together. It's fun to watch them, and uh, you know they're they're easy to touch and easy to be around. And, and if you really know them, you you can't believe that they're that easy to know. So. I said he was a hero 15 years ago, you know, and and he is, and he proves it every day uh, in his life. So I met George. Golly, it's been close to 30 years ago. Built my first house out in Rancho Verde. I was working for uh, Pantex Plywood at the time and needed to find a place to build a house for my family and ran into George and met him. And he was at the time, had just purchased a bunch of lots and was gracious enough to sell me a lot. And I ended up building two houses in there for my family. And that's kind of how I met him. And then as I rolled through life, just continued to have a relationship and, you know, kind of random and when in 2002 I found myself unemployed and George and, uh, George and Linda were gracious enough to help me out and co-sign notes for me to get started I was completely on the outs and broke and and I told George I said I guess I'll I was actually going to go to work at Far V and work for Jerry Farr and uh, he said man you need to be building a house I said man I, I can't get any money and so George signed my notes for me and and uh, I always tell people if it wasn't for him, I'd be sacking groceries at 7-Eleven. So that's how I know George. That's how I got started with George. One of the things that I that reminds me of George and Linda and just uh, their desire to invest in other people is um, I had the previous superintendent had left and I was applying for the job. I was named interim, but uh, I knew that I had to apply for the job. And um, George and Linda uh, had already uh, invested for us to bring Peyton Manning to Lubbock um, for the Friendship Foundation to raise money. And they um, purchased a table for $100,000. And just a few days after I was named interim, George um, and Linda invited me to sit at their table. And... Um, the event wasn't happening until April, and I was named interim um, in May of 2015. So it was almost a year before the event. I told George and Linda, I was like, well, I don't even know if I'm going to get the job. What if I don't get the job? And he said, it's going to work out. You're going to get the job. And so it gave me a great boost of confidence. And it's so typical of George and Linda to not only invest in a cause, but to invest in people. I've tried to do the best I can. You know, again, sometimes things come up short, but it's not y'all's fault. You've raised me right, and man, I, I cannot replace, nor would I ask for any other two to raise me the way you have. So thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you so much. I couldn't have asked for any better parents 
Not that that's my choice, but I, y'all are amazing. Amazing. Love you both. Don't cry. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. I would not be where I am today without y'all. Every time they gave to the Red Raider Club, since the very beginning up through today, they wanted to make sure it was impacting a student athlete. They're, they're the greatest. They're great when it comes to making the trips with us and enjoying Red Raider football, basketball, baseball, whatever the case may be. You knew George and Linda would be there. They, they provided an opportunity for kids like myself that would have never had an opportunity to go to college or, you know, especially one as, as uh, prestigious as Texas Tech. You know, growing up, college was, was always a goal of mine. Um, but with the, the status that my, you know, my family was in, it, it was never an achievable goal, um, which was unfortunate for, for myself and my brother. And it actually, uh, you know, her influence helped me uh, get my brother to go to college too and now he's a graduate of Texas Tech University. Sometimes you don't get to meet the students directly or you don't have this one-on-one -on -one relationship with them but they always wanted to make sure they were impacted and then they had a lot of opportunities along the way just to shake hands or meet the young people and that was always when Linda and George really brightened up because they knew what they were doing was really making an impact. It's, it's fun getting to rub shoulders with those kids, one as a fan, knowing that they're responsible for a few of those kids' dreams. That's pretty exciting too. Really, I don't think that they could possibly imagine how far their influences spans out. I mean, to people that, you know, they probably, they could cross every single day, have no idea that they had an impact on their lives, which is absolutely incredible for the community and for Texas Tech University. And, and again, for all those, those kids that wouldn't have had that opportunity had it not been for, you know, people as giving as them. Well, I'm very blessed to have them as my parents. In the early, early 90s, I did a trip to Houston with George and Linda and Wayne in their, in their motorhome, traveled all the way down. My wife and my two young boys were in Houston visiting uh, my wife's sister. And they came out to the race site to check on us. And, and typical George, he said, well, why don't y'all just ride back with us tomorrow? You don't need to cancel that, that plane and ride back with us. That's, that's, a, that's a George. Just everybody was exhausted and, and climbing up, waking up, getting into the, the co-pilot seat, three in the morning, and George is just motoring along. That thing would only go about 62 miles an hour. And you know, you just had to ask George a, a question and he'd, he'd start talking and kind of wake up and get both eyes open and you're going, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna make it back to Lubbock. He's always been adventurous. He's ridden some pretty epic events, the Baja 1000, Three or four times I did, I lost count of what he did. Significant uh, uh, success with that, you know. He put on major rides in Colorado for us as, uh, as we, uh, we grew up and matured out of the motocross days and got into trail riding and things of that nature. He'd put on epic events there. Uh, Cloudcroft, New Mexico, he put on huge rides there. All fun, fun, fun events. Just just a blast. He just uh, put every, he just kept everybody together. He's just a great leader, you know. Well, we're Sharon and I, my wife, are in Scottsdale, and we're at a you know fancy hotel, a little weekend getaway. And and Sharon notices on Facebook that Linda and George are on their way to Scottsdale, Arizona. So Sharon gets on and talks to Linda, and they plan it. And all of a sudden, we've got supper that night. So I said, "What are you doing? You know, out here, George?" I said, I'm, Picking up a motorcycle, you know, and it's it's at Waylon Jennings' house, and it's Buddy Holly's motorcycle. I said, "Hey, do you need some help?" You know, loading it the next morning. Just him and Linda are there picking up our trailer. He said, "Yeah," you know. He said, "Yeah, let me call Jesse Coulter, who was Waylon Jennings' wife, um, and see if that'd be okay." So he called her, got the okay, and we all showed up at the, her house. Uh, that morning, Jesse Coulter from Waylon Jennings' house. We saw this uh, motorcycle, the aerial cyclone 650 that was Buddy Holly's, and that's what he had, he had purchased from the auction house. So we were there, got to help him load it up. That was a special time. You know, just happened to uh, our paths have just crossed in so many ways. 
George goes to a lot of meetings with me on some things that I'm trying to get done as he's helping me move forward in my business still today. But when I walk in a room with George, whether it's a bank, whether it's a school building, whether it's whatever, he's like a magnet. And it's kind of fun to watch, to just be in there. I wholeheartedly believe if I didn't have George with me that I wouldn't even be in the room. So he just has a lot of influence over people. Linda, you know, she will say, no, I don't want to do that or this or that. And she climbed the pyramids in Guatemala, Tikal. She's right there with George at her side always. When you get involved in philanthropy, you know, you, you donate to the things that you enjoy or you feel responsible for or you just really like. And I think that's what uh, George has done. They love Lubbock and George is known everywhere he goes. I just wish them the best and Lubbock would not be the same without them. I'll agree to that. And, and as I said, the best neighbor we ever had. We just we, we appreciate you guys. The motorcycle community, so many people in Lubbock, our family, George, you know, we've got ties there. You've you've helped you've helped the boys in, in many ways and I'm just I'm I'm proud to to know you. I'm uh, excited that you got this this honor, you and Linda, both. Keep up the good work. You're a great citizen, you're a great Red Raider, you're a great motorcycle friend. They've had success, and their desire is to see other people be successful. Everyone knows they're just very special people. Lubbock is a special place, and uh, they're two of the reasons why.